Hi, this is Mr. West, and you're watching a Math Drills tutorial on multiplying by four. So this is just a times table exercise, and here's my recommendation. You may find this super helpful. Um, if you're just watching it the first time, you might need a couple strategies, etc. Maybe just checking this out. There's tons of Math Drills tutorial videos I have on my channel if you want to check those out, and tons of other great resources right here on MathDrills.com. My first suggestion is if you're learning fours for the first time in terms of multiplying, I would write out all the multiples of four all the way through 12. So you see at the bottom here, I have in uh, the yellow circles, one through 12. And then at the bottom, I just counted up by four. So I started four, then I went to eight, 12, 16, and so on, okay? So that's a great first way to practice working with the fours, with the numbers. And you'll notice that there's not a ton of patterns or tips and tricks with the fours they can use but i just wanted to point out a few things okay number one you'll notice that all the numbers are even okay they all end in either zero two four six or eight okay that's the only possibility for four so if you end a number let's say you think oh i think it's 27 okay you, you messed up because that's an odd number it can only be these okay um, that's there's pretty much no other tips I can give other than some real important ones that you'll want to kind of keep locked in for sure are eight uh, eight and twelve you're gonna be using those a lot 16 20 40 and 44 okay those are kind of like your your go-to's you can use a lot of these for building blocks and what do I mean by that well if you know for example that 4 times 5 is 20 well then you can do 4 times 15 fairly easily. Why is that? Because 15 is triple 5, and so you just triple uh, 20, and you get 60, okay? 20 times 3, triple that, is 60. 5 times 3, that's triple, is 15. That's kind of where I got that from. If that's too advanced for you, don't worry about it. I'm just saying these are kind of like my go-tos. Really need to know those, and then you can kind of go from there to figure out some of these uh, bigger problems, okay? So I'm gonna just go through this and I'm gonna do a couple of these, maybe talk through it, uh, my mental process. So let's go ahead and start. So uh, here we have five times four. Um, fives are kind of one of my favorites. I'm gonna make that video next. So you have five times four, we have 20. Four times one, anything times one is just gonna be four. Times two, if you multiply anything times two, it's double. But you're gonna notice again, just like I said, these are all even numbers so far. Well, so far, all of these, spoiler alert, they're all going to be even numbers. So 9 times 4, they're 36. That one's a little bit more tricky. Got to know the 12, okay? You're going to be using 4 times 3 a lot. 7 times 4, 28. Then we have 32. That one's maybe a little bit tricky. 11. So anytime you multiply by 11, we can use our standard algorithm here. That means we do 4 times 1 first, and that's 4. And then we go over to the next column, 4 times 1, and that's 4. But anytime you multiply by 11 with a single-digit number, you're just going to make it that number two times, four and four, right next to each other, 44. Anytime you multiply by 10, this one's great because four times zero, four times one, four. D, 40 is the answer. So anytime you multiply by 10, you just add on a zero. That one's great. 24, you might see that one a lot too. And then it looks like we have a lot of repeats. We have 48 here. That's your 12. That's kind of like your tricky one. Okay, and then 16. Okay, that one's important because that's a, a square, which you might talk about later. Ask your teacher if you haven't talked about that yet. Maybe you guys are going to talk about it this year. I definitely talk about it on this channel a lot. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm looking for any others that we haven't covered, but I think we covered anything, everything. Uh, I didn't see zero on here. Um, I don't know if there is a zero, but four times zero is just going to be zero. Just, just let you know. And all these are just repeats. So my suggestion is print this worksheet out. Go ahead and do it. Maybe don't even do it for time. Print it out again. Do it for time this time. See how fast you can do it. And then the more times you do it, the better you're going to get at it. And again, start with writing them all out. Just knowing the, the multiples is half the battle. Either way, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to come back right here on West Explains Best. See you next time.